getting close now to the real fun bit. Um, but the last bit was quite fun as well. Um, what I've done is um, I've primed everything in grey, then I've sprayed everything in uh, matte black, uh, then I've dry brushed with um, lead belcher, washed with none oil, then I've been going around just picking out different things in different metallics. Uh, I've been dry brushing again with lead belcher in some places, some places uh, Vallejo's oily steel, uh, we've got some coppery colours in there and we've got some brass colours in there. Uh, some, some areas, particularly on the uh, engine block here, I, I'm keeping in the, in the bare um, known oil because I want that all like black and sooty. So this is where I'm getting to now. So the metallics are pretty much done for the moment. Um, the colours as well, um, just blocked in with the colours because the next step, um, as I say, is the fun bit of the weathering. So that's his back there like that. hope you can make that all out all right today. So that's him. Um, yeah, and we've got the little, the little arms. It's a Bad Moon's uh, clan uh, fella again. So uh, got to have yellow in it. So just blocked in the yellow for now. No shading at all or anything. I'm going to let the weathering do all that. Um, oh, and I've just been putting in various greys as well, just to break things up a bit. And uh, so that's one of the grabber arms, the fixing arms. Oh, and the other thing I haven't done yet is uh, I'm not even bothering with the any of the cabling until everything's done, all the uh, strappings and things like that. Um, I'm leaving them off until the last minute. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, there's the other. There's the other grabber arm with the with the bent drill alongside it, like so. Um, let's do these face. So. Uh, the mech sign, the, the, the cross spanners, I've, I've blocked in in ivory, uh, his face obviously in yellow, um, and his monocle and uh, fob thing, which is made out of a chain, that's uh, done, so is the winch. As I say, I'm just uh, going to let the rust in and the weathering highlight all that, so I'm not that bothered just how that looks at the moment, because I'm going to be covering most of it up. So that's that. Um, one of the shoulder pads, like so. Let's get the big fella himself. Here he is. Um, normally I would be doing that checkerboard pattern, but you're not going to see it because of that face is going to cover it up. So I'm, gonna, I'm in an R in whether to do that or not. Um, the top of the hatch I've done in yellow, but the um, exhausts are all going to be in the way, so I don't know why I did that. You're barely going to see it, but you know, it's a little bit more colour. Um, don't know if you can make that out, but yeah, I'll put some coppery's, coppery colours in there, and some some brasses in there. This door that's hanging off its hinges, I've just picked that out in a different lighter grey to try and make that stand out a bit. I think that's a really neat idea. The way that's half hanging open, but I think that winch and hook is going to get in the way. Um, and some yellows, again, um, and I've also done his feet, it's something I did on the runt bot as well, um, just to break up all the metallics that are down in there. Okay, so, that's in there like that. What else we got? Oh yeah, here we go. Um, putting the right way around, there we go. So yeah, this is lead belcher with oily steel here, and I've got one of the brassy colours there. Picked out some of the panels in a, in a grey, um, using some of the Forge Well decal sheet. Um, I got the decal sheet, um, you know, thinking that I could cover him with um, tons of decals and really busy it up. But the, the detail is just so great on this kit that there's barely, barely anywhere um, to put them at all. The only two real places, apart from the shoulder pads, that you can put them is just this little bit just here and that little bit just there because there's just so much going on. I don't know if you can see that there. I hadn't noticed this until I started painting it, but look, you've got a score tally which has been scratched into the, into the barrel. So I couldn't really go to town with it, but what the hey. So that's that. 
Um, the rail that that gun is going to sit on, I haven't done anything except um, put the initial coat to coat of lead belcher on because this is going to be really, really rusty. This is going to be bright orange. I want some of the parts of him to be really much, much more weathered than others. And I'm going to let the rust be the bit of colour in the whole gun assembly, really. And then we've got the, the saw arm. Here he is. Um, I don't know whether this is actually meant to be wood, this bit just here, but it had, it had um, little uh, lines in it, which sort of looked like grain. For wood so I'll put him in wood and as I say I've put some decals on but even on these big panels um, in here there's more than one panel in each recess which really limits you to what you can do so I've just put a few on like so okay so um, that's how he is today as I say I can't can't wait for the next bit because that's the real fun bit and one of the reasons why I got the feather in the first place um, weathering him down, rusting him up, so next video I think will be him done because I'm not stopping, um, I'm looking forward to this.